Welcome back everybody. My name's Tom Bird and this is the second episode in the series where we're looking at WeFind's range of underwater imaging products. And the chances are you're watching this right now on something like this, a smartphone. So today I'd like to show you how you can take this underwater in the WeFind smart housing and get some incredible footage using a device that you're already familiar with. So let's have a closer look. It's an aluminium housing rated to 80 meters depth and it feels very robust, which is important in making me feel comfortable taking my phone underwater. On the front there's a large piece of glass allowing the camera to see through, as well as two threads to attach an optional accessory ring for items such as wet lenses, which we'll have a look at in the future video. So the back is largely transparent for looking through at your phone screen and we've got a series of buttons down the right hand side here. Cleverly, this housing is controlled via an app which you download onto your smartphone. So it's actually a universal housing that can be used with a wide variety of phones. You'll need to scan the QR code found on the inside of the housing as this will pair the two devices together. We can then install the phone inside, check the O-rings to make sure they're clean, and then we will secure the housing by twisting the locking latch on the side until it clicks into place. One great thing about this housing is that it comes with a vacuum valve and pump, which means that we can make sure that the housing is sealed before we get in the water. And to do this, we pump the housing until the green light stays on constantly and we know it's ready to go. Once installed, your phone screen will always be on, so I would suggest using a power bank in between dives. The app is very easy to navigate underwater using the buttons on the back of the housing. You can adjust all settings such as shutter speed, aperture and ISO manually or just let the phone decide what's best. One thing I love about this housing is that it has a depth and temperature sensor built in which allows the app to work as a backup dive computer at the same time and it's even got a really nice compass to use. All of the dive information is stored onto the app's logbook which has a beautiful interface and allows you to add extra information as well as photos to remember your dive more clearly. So there's no more filling out logbooks by hand after the dive as you can even scan your buddy's QR code to link up which is pretty cool. Last but not least the Dive Plus app has some powerful editing software built in as it can accurately adjust white balance, contrast and saturation with just one click and I'm actually stunned by how well this free software works. I think it's great for anybody who doesn't want to spend much time editing as the photos are right on your phone and ready to send to social media or friends. I find it really exciting that with a device like this more and more people can enjoy underwater photography as much as I do. So now I'd like to show you some footage that I've shot over the past few dives to give you an idea of what you'll be able to do too. So join me next time when we're going to be looking at WeFind's wet lenses and hopefully discover some more cool marine life in Sydney. Thanks for watching and bye for now.